Hello everybody, welcome to more political chatter. Uh, we're doing another 2024 election scenario, and this election scenario is between President Joe Biden and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Now, yeah, I mean, if you know anything about politics, you know that Biden has fallen in popularity. This is when he was first sworn in on January 23rd, 2021. Now, as you can see, his approval slowly declines, slowly declines. Here's 50% mark, and then it just goes downhill, and then disapprove uh, surpasses approves, and it just goes even more down. And um, here it is right now, um, according to 538. Joe Biden's approval rating is 41.8% as of today. So, not very popular. Um, his disapproval rating is 52.9%. So, you know, definitely underwater. It's, of course, going to be something that everyone has to keep in mind. So, uh, let's go into this. So, Biden, I see him carrying California by solid margin. I see him carrying Hawaii Illinois and Washington by a solid margin. Um, sorry, let me just, I always forget to pull up this site. Map.JacksonJude. It's a useful site. You should uh, use it. But, I mean, so we have all the margins for every state in 2020 and 2016, all the way since 1960. So, uh, he would carry D.C. by a solid margin. He would carry Maryland by a solid margin. These states are not flipping. He would carry his home state of Delaware by a solid margin. Uh, Vermont would be solid. New York would be solid. Massachusetts would be solid. And Maine's first would be solid. Uh, I do think that Rhode Island would be solid. And really, someone like Ron DeSantis, I don't see Connecticut turning likely at this point in time. I don't really see, um, because remember, Ron DeSantis is an extremely popular figure. He is the governor of Florida. Um, he was really unpopular before because he uh, disallowed any schools in his home, in his state of Florida to um, implant mask mandates. Um, and then, or else he would cut funding for the school. I mean, that's just completely, uh, well, I won't say my opinion, sorry. Um, but, um, but he, he was really underwater, um, at that time. But as COVID is getting better, a lot of Republicans like him. He's gaining support among the Republican Party. A lot of Republicans who are very conservative, but uh, are iffy about Trump are backing Ron DeSantis. So, Connecticut, because of the mask thing, I don't see a liberal state like Connecticut really liking Ron DeSantis that much. I'll give uh, Connecticut solid for Biden. Now, Oregon and uh, New Jersey are two states I do think would be likely for the president. I mean, sure, that, that I mean, going to New Jersey, it only went solidly for Biden by 0.9%, and Oregon only 1.1%. Those are really more narrow margins than people uh, realize. And then 2016, Clinton was um, 11%, and then 14.1%. So when you think about it, Biden is probably going to do worse than Hillary Clinton in two Democratic states like these. Um, I mean, he's certainly going to do 1.1% worse in Oregon and 0.9% worse in uh, New Jersey. As of right now, Biden versus DeSantis, I can guarantee you that. I think Oregon and New Jersey would be likely for the present. Uh, Ron DeSantis will have a lot of safe states. Whoops. Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Kansas, Oklahoma, uh, Nebraska, Large, Nebraska's first, and Nebraska's third. And yes, I am uh, making Kansas and Nebraska's first, both of which went likely for Trump. Uh, may, er, uh, Nebraska's first by 14.9%, and uh, Kansas by 14.7%, so 0.3 and 0.1% away from going solidly, so almost going solidly. Um, I am flipping these back into the solid column for the Republican Party. Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri. Ron Sanders will do very well in the South. Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama. I think it would do just fine in the state of in the uh, state of Indiana. Sorry, um, West Virginia would be solid, and I mean, really, I do think that these would be the only solid states. I mean, South Carolina, I do think would be very uh, narrowly, but I mean, it goes to Trump by eleven point seven percent. I don't think it's going to flip three. Uh, what? What? Uh, three point three percent. I, or actually, 4.3%, so it goes over. I don't see it flipping that much for Ron DeSantis. He will win more votes than Trump because he's from the South. He really connects with, he really resonates with these voters here. Uh, and even with Biden's unpopularity, African, some African Americans, not as many, not nearly as many, 
uh, because the voting rights bill was blocked, that that's going to lose a lot of African American support for the president. Still, I do think South Carolina would be likely for Ron DeSantis. I think it would be extremely narrow, though. Alaska, I don't see becoming solid and certainly not becoming lean. Nebraska, second, I don't see switching. I think that's going to be a likely state for Ron DeSantis. And, um... I mean, Iowa and Ohio were two states that I think Ron DeSantis will do pretty well in. Trump did just fine here in 2016 and 2020. They barely shifted to the left at all. Um, and I think that they would really like Ron DeSantis, especially the parents in that state. I think they would really enjoy Ron DeSantis. Um, I mean, honestly, I think that Ron DeSantis will carry the state of Florida by a likely margin. I think it's going to be just over 5%. I mean, if Trump could increase his lead here in 2020, plus um, Ron DeSantis, I, I think, would do 1.6% uh, better than Trump here. I do, because he's governor, and a poll showed that he's one of the most popular governors in the United States. That is amazing. And, he, I mean, his supporters will turn out for him. That's the thing. He has huge support. His supporters are big on Ron DeSantis 2024, Don and Ron 2024. They're big on that stuff. And I really do think that Ron DeSantis, especially against Biden, maybe not against another Democrat, or like someone like Roy Cooper, someone who appeals, who, or someone whose approval ratings are better than his, than Biden's, but against Biden, someone who's so unpopular and won't turn out as many uh, minorities in the 2024 election, I do think that Ron DeSantis would be, or I'm sorry, I do think that Ron DeSantis would go to the state of Florida by likely margin. If you disagree with me, please tell me in the comments. I would love to hear your reasoning and all that. Texas, I, I don't think Ron DeSantis will have any trouble getting by likely margin. It's not going to become lean because of Biden's unpopularity. It's becoming more democratic, but with Biden, it's not going to be lean. And it's not going to shift. 10 points that's uh to become solid that's far too much uh it's going it's going to stay likely margin moving on uh where should we go let's go to new mexico and colorado probably um i think that these states are out of reach for ron DeSantis. sure he's popular and sure biden is unpopular but remember uh, Biden won New Mexico by 8.10 points and colorado by 13.5 points you know that they're going to shift a lot to the right, but with these margins, they're not going to shift enough to become, um, to become a red state. They're not. They're going to shift a lot, but still, that's not enough. They're going to be both lean, uh, in my opinion. I think Ron DeSantis would do just fine here. Moving on to Arizona, uh, the Sun Belt is really where Ron DeSantis will be carried to victory. Whoops, I revealed the winner. Um, but hey, you, you all know, you know this channel very. Say the facts. Arizona, I think, would go to Ron DeSantis by a lean margin, if not likely. I mean, uh, it, I mean, my, most of my reasoning in many of these states is Biden's unpopularity. It's as simple as this. Less Democrats are going to turn out for Joe Biden, and a lot more independents who voted for Biden in 2020 to not vote for Trump are going to switch back to the Republican Party because, once again, they're tired of the incumbent. They are tired of the president running for re-election, and therefore, they will be turning out for Ron DeSantis in November. Arizona is another one of those states, or is one of those states. Nevada is another one of those states. Uh, I really do see... Ron DeSantis is doing okay here. He will flip the state, even though it did go to Hillary by 2.4% in 2016, then it goes to Biden by 2.4% in the 2020 election. Uh, Minnesota, well, uh, let's go to Nebraska second. I think that this will be a lean state for Ron DeSantis. I don't think we're going to see uh, any campaigning over here or anything. Um, but Biden is unpopular here. It did go for him in 2020, but it did go Trump in 2016. But one electoral vote, very unimportant. Uh, New Hampshire. I always forget about New Hampshire. And I want to end the video, and I'm like, oh, I still have New Hampshire to do. God. Um, New Hampshire. This one is really tough for me. But they are a pretty moderate state. And really, you, Ron DeSantis' school policy 
is going to have to be acceptable in states like Iowa and Ohio, where the general uh, population is going to be a bit more conservative. So I think by a tilt margin, Biden will be able to hang on to the state of New Hampshire. Just because the mask thing, I think of New Hampshire as a state with, with a lot of uh, school, uh, like with a lot of parents and families, a lot of rural areas where parents really care about their schools. That's really what it is, frankly. And I think that Biden, even though he's unpopular, I think he might be able to hang on. Uh, to the state of New Hampshire, with, which did go to him by 7.4% in 2020, and Hillary won it by a tilt margin in 2016. Moving on. Uh, Minnesota, God, I think I'm going to give it to Ron DeSantis. Um, I mean, sure, school, his mask policy won't be very popular in Minnesota, but here's the thing, I do keep mentioning the mask policy, and honestly, I don't think that this will be Here's the thing. I'm sorry. I shouldn't even have been mentioning that. I'm, I'm actually really sorry. Because COVID will probably be gone by 2024. The chances are, like by a lot, that COVID will be gone in 2024. It will not be a big issue. And if it's not a big issue, then people won't care about lots of masks. So don't care what I'm saying about masks. Please, whatever I said about masks and COVID, excuse it. So Minnesota, I do think that Ron DeSantis would carry anyway by tilt margin. This would be a flip. Um, I mean, he's a popular man. Pe- Republicans and independents will turn out for him rather than Biden. And with enough of an independent and Republican coalition, you can flip a state like Minnesota. Uh, all right. Um, going to Maine's second district. We're not going to see a competition here. Biden will win it by about seven points. Uh, Minis- or, sorry, Wisconsin. Pennsylvania, and Michigan. Um, I think that Ron DeSantis wouldn't have much trouble carrying these three states, uh, along with Georgia and North Carolina. I mean, North Carolina, I might even see being likely, or, yeah, sorry, likely. But, I mean, maybe not at this point in time. Um, I think that all of these states will be lean for the same reasons as I have been saying before. Biden is unpopular, and Ron DeSantis is just such a popular governor. I mean, going to the blue wall, the Lust Belt, this is where Ron DeSantis uh, will do well, because Trump did well here in, in 2016. He encouraged people uh, to go out and vote because people were tired of the Democratic incumbent, who was just your typical, typical Democrat, establishment Democrat. I mean, Obama in 2008, he wasn't, but by the end of his term in 2016, that's what Americans thought of him. And if Biden was the establishment in the 2020 Dem primary, then he's going to be the establishment all the way through. And White working class voters who don't want to say it but do have immigration anxiety. I'm writing a report about it in school right now. I'm writing about how Trump won because of a lot of people's immigration anxiety that they did not want to say they had, but in the back of my the mind of their mind they had it. They did not want to be left behind. They wanted to be um they did not want America to be a country of immigrants. And Ron DeSantis will turn out those Obama voters once again, uh, who, who many of them uh, switched to the Biden column in uh, 2020. Okay, uh, Virginia's the last state. I think that Biden will be able to hang on to the state because Glenn Youngkin, I mean, you know, I always mention this, but Glenn Youngkin won the governorship by distancing himself from Trump. I say that every video, and I'm sorry. And because I, I always, I, I feel like I should mention that they do have a Republican governor. But Youngkin was not aligned with Trump. Juan DeSantis, on the other hand, really is. I mean, they campaign together. Uh, they, I, they, they, they're friends, all right? I'm just saying that. And I don't see Virginia uh, really liking Ron DeSantis that much. I think that Biden will be able to carry it by lean margin. So Ron DeSantis wins the election. 322 electoral votes to Biden's 216. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you for the next video.